Hello, Dojo News. This is week 35, coming to you live on Monday, uh, but not 10 a.m., slightly later in the afternoon. Hope you're having a great Bank Holiday Monday. And just to remind you, uh, all students uh, should be aware our dojo is the way of the warrior and open all bank holidays. That's including any good you have bank holiday weekends, uh, school holidays. It's just that two-week break over Christmas that we have. Right. Excellence in everything we do. Uh, when I get up in the morning, uh, regardless of the day, I pursue excellence in everything I do. And this can sometimes be very hard, especially on a wet day or a cold, dark night or just after a hard day. Uh, pursuing excellence, however, is where we grow as people, where we grow as human beings and excellence in everything we do. And that's the motto of our dojo, a sign of excellence. Uh, so this week Week, hard love we're following with the silent theme for the lessons and we're going to be covering uh, some sparring more related games wise sport wise and then covering over some uh, line work as well in every adversity there lies the seed of an equivalent uh, advantage and every defeat is a lesson show you in you how to win the victory next time so with the games of the sparring this week let's all be confident with what we're doing and as i just said in the quote it's uh, through mistake uh, and through loss that we uh, do truly learn. And that's the story of hard love. Uh, we have a squad training this Sunday. We'll be giving out some leaflets. If you haven't already got one in classes, we did give these out months ago. And they've got all the dates of squad trainings, everything else that we've had and are having this year related to the tournament side of things. We've got James Meakin and uh, Triple E, uh, Aaron Elston Evans, who are off to Venice in a few weeks' time. Uh, so let's all get down to squad trains. That's somewhere where we can support them and all be a part of a bigger picture as well. Start that journey. So uh, Andy Randall's just joined us. Peace out, Andy. Oh, hang loose. A ball as well. Uh, then is our final week of our summer campaign. So we should all be working through ticking off our summer challenges. You have to the end of this week to complete them. And then next week, the majority of uh, everyone are back to school. Uh, we return to our lesson timetable with the mini kids starting at half past four. Nothing else has really changed over the summer. And uh, yeah, onward and upward into September and uh, the next phase of the year. Uh, syllabuses, I've mentioned this last few weeks, have all been handed out in uh, the summer holidays. If you have been away for the whole time, not received one yet, we've got yours waiting for you. Last week, I mentioned about the terms and conditions uh, in there. And this week, as it's relevant with the fight in the sparring week, uh, there is also a SKF uh, dojo uniform and uh, equipment code. Uh, some things to be, re uh, to be aware of and relevant to all classes, some specific to the uniform in different sessions and the hierarchy of color and everything else that you might not be aware of. Uh, but in particular this week, let's be aware of the equipment requirements for different grades. Uh, the winter gradings will be in November stroke December. Majority of students have already got what they need, but be aware of the things that you do need and uh, this will affect your grading later in the year if you don't have it. So giving you a heads up with all of this. I will be posting these out uh, on an email to everyone as well. Uh, then I mentioned this last week, I think it was. I'll mention it again. Make sure we are looking out for everyone at our dojo. Uh, dojo is a big family here. Uh, part of the reason I mentioned this while we were away on holiday a few weeks ago, uh, a few things came up regarding a few students and uh, nothing that needs to be explained or it's all been dealt with uh, or brought up on here. But just saying to all members, just keep an eye out on things in our dojo, please. Uh, just from a uh, discipline and respect point of view doesn't mean everyone needs to walk around with a trunch and beating people but just pass on if there's anything you see that you don't think should be uh, as it is and uh, yeah such like with that so as far as events go advanced training this saturday for the brown belts and above uh, we're starting at half past one gonna have a bit of a syllabus catch-up theme and also a bit of instructing uh, theme to it and then covering some of the black belt assessment stuff uh, for those uh, looking to grade at the end of the year in uh, in december at the winter course then as already mentioned half 10 start on sunday for squad training and everyone's welcome 
welcome down for that. We would like to see everyone involved again, supporting James and Erin with what they're doing in uh, this big achievement, uh, already competing for Great Britain, but bringing back some gold. Uh, 9th of uh, September, that's a week Sunday, where has the months gone, it is our next Open Day. We'll uh, shout out a little bit more about that next week. Um, most of us are aware that Open Day is also an opportunity to bring people back uh, or down to our dojo. So uh, I'll mention all the details next week. And then following that, we have a beginner's course starting in September. And then uh, we'll rock and roll it. So I hope everyone is having a wonderful last week of their summer holidays. And uh, hopefully we'll get a little bit of sun back for that summer holidays as well. Peace out. Boom.